Oh. So let me get this straight. What you're effectively saying is that people should be wearing masks inside their own homes now? Ryan, I'm saying if you can't socially distance and can't socially isolate, or if you've been out in public and exposing yourself, you still need people to wear the mask in public. We still need people to keep social distance and isolation. But Ryan, the one thing I want to try to get across today is we need to do that when we're in our homes also. As you know, I'm, I'm a lifelong San Antonio and grew up there, worked there for many years, and I know how many multi-generational families that we have. And while we believe the community is doing a great job of following the rules when they're outside of the home, we really need to be thinking about doing the same thing when we're inside the home. I mean, all of us are, uh, are capable of catching this disease. None of us are immune from this. And the fact that we need to get across this in order to protect ourselves, we need to protect our families and our loved ones, we really need to be thinking about the care that we're providing inside the home right now to make sure that we're not spreading this disease inside the home and then making it come outside the house. So let me get this straight. What you're effectively saying is that people should be wearing masks inside their own homes now? Ryan, I'm saying if you can't socially distance and can't socially isolate, or if you've been out in public and exposing yourself and you haven't decontaminated yourself good enough when you get home, if you have someone that has underlying medical conditions at home, we really need to be thinking about that. Now, if you're the same two or three people that are living in the same house and you're really taking care of yourself and you're following all the rules, then you probably don't need to wear a mask in your home. But if you've gone out for Memorial Day or Fourth of July or you've gone out to parties or you've gone out to graduation parties, when you've gone out and you've come back in, you can be bringing that back inside. And I, I think it's no secret, we all like to relax when we're at home. But if we're not paying attention to how the virus spreads outside or inside the home, we're gonna keep spreading this virus.